Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello Libra. This is going to be a reading for you for January 19th to January 25th, 2021. So please remember the oracle cards go here. They're all for you. The tarot cards go here, which are the energies around you, but you will show up over here. So I read the cards and you decide how they apply in your situation in your life. So here we go, and thank you for all the support on the channel, Libra, I appreciate it so much, and welcome cross watchers. And please remember, I'm going to have a drawing at 5,000 subscribers to give a deck of cards away, so like and subscribe, and then keep track of what deck you would like to try and win. So the first one for you is Oracle of E, the Dude Abides. So this says that whatever you're doing right now, the universe is happy. They are very happy at whatever you are doing, because it must be for your highest good. So bunny hop jive is four, so we're going two, four. So bunny hop jive is your, I feel like you're happy, you have a lot of light, you have a lot of energy, and you're doing something exceptionally fast, and you're recruiting other people to do it with you, whatever that would be. Next one is God and Owie, which would be 29, which would be 11. So I do feel like somehow there was um, either you got sick or you got hurt and you're healing yourself. The light is going to rain down on something that hurt you, whether it was a broken heart or you got some sort of illness or some medical attention you needed, something of that sort. So now I'm switching to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck, and the first one is Seven of C. So Seven of C is denial. There's something that's right in front of your face that you are not noticing or somebody is not noticing about you. So the next one we have is Four of C. So we have Seven of C and Four of C. So this is depression. This is saying somebody is lacking energy which you seem to not be lacking energy so this could be going back to the past to where you maybe you were doing good and something happened to make you sad there's something you didn't see and now you're in depression so nine of C is you looking to the future and seeing your future your big picture is good it says you see yourself staying ahead of negative energy. You see abundance coming to you. You see yourself keeping your emotions in check. So then you have 10 of C. A lot of emotions in here is all I can say. This is you going to your happy place. I don't know if you're going to travel to go on a vacation or you're going to go around family. But I do see there's people that make you feel happy and support you. So three of fire is you looking to the universe, asking why things are happening the way they are. Sea kitten. Sea kitten is somebody who goes back and forth. They're undecided about something. It's like they're grounded, excuse me, one day and then they're emotional the next day. Grounded, emotional. Somebody's going back and forth on something. Three of earth. Three of earth is coworker. So it seems like there's three people that are focused on one coworker for some reason. And we have gotten three number twice. So sometimes that means that somebody is involved in a third party situation. So Ace of C, this is true love. So we're getting a love situation and three people. So somebody's asking the universe, somebody's going back and forth, and three people are focusing on somebody at work, and there's true love involved somewhere in this. So this is the Hermit. This is Virgo placement. This is withdrawing away from people to find clarity, to make yourself heal, to make yourself whole. It could be got the Owie one as well. So Nine of Earth. So Nine of Earth is you again looking at your big picture and seeing you had the Nine of C and seeing how you project your future to be, which is very good because you see a bright, positive future. So Six of Sky is you feeling conflict from other people. There's other people that must be coworkers because it's going over the coworker card that are causing hardship for you or drama or chaos and you don't want to be around that energy. 
So Sky Tom is somebody who is hurting you on purpose. Somebody who doesn't care how mean they are to you. It's going over the love card. So I'm not sure if this is somebody who claimed to love you. So then we have Fire King, which could be Leo placement, but this is pride and ego. Somebody's pride and ego is really up on a shelf to where it's making them make decisions for themselves. So then you have the Emperor. So the Emperor, again, is pride and ego to an extensive amount. This could be Narcissus. So these two going together are very powerful. So I don't know if there's two narcissists arguing with each other at a workplace is almost what I'm picking up. And it is making a lot of chaos and drama for people at work. So Four of Sky is the same as the Hermit card. Somebody is retreating to heal. Somebody is going away from other energies and people to try to heal themselves. We've gotten that twice. Nine of Sky. You had Nine of Sea, Nine of Earth, and Nine of Sky. So, or, yeah, Nine of Sky is somebody not being able to sleep, somebody stressing out. Somebody is very stressed over the situation. Very stressed. I'm getting a lot of feelings that somebody has gotten themselves in trouble at a workplace. So, the priest is intuition. This is being guided by the divine and doing what's for your highest good. So I do feel like you, if this doesn't relate to you, the Narcissist Libra, then you're being guided by the Divine to go what would support you. So Nine of Fire, wow, a lot of Nines. I think you've had all the Nines. So this is addiction. This is somebody who has an addiction and the universe is trying to guide this person. Four of Fire, a lot of fours in here too. So Four of Fire is long-term commitment, celebration, marriage, love, taking the next step. Eight of Sky, somebody feels trapped. Somebody feels in their own head, their own thinking, their own, they have put themselves in their own prison, so to speak, with their own thoughts and actions. So two of fire. Two of fire is somebody trying to make a decision. I'm going to switch to the mystical or the tarot illuminati now. So somebody is overlooking, overthinking everything, trying to figure out how to fix something, how to figure out how they can move forward from this. This is really I I hate to say what this reminds me of. It's parallel to something some other stuff going on. So this is Eight of Swords again. You've had this twice. So somebody is stuck in their own thinking. There's some Somebody has made their own prison in some aspect. So Two of Cups. We're getting a lot of twos too. It's concerning a love situation. Somebody is stuck in their own prison or maybe they're in jail. So the Tower. So the Tower is when somebody's not seeing something correctly. It's not for your highest good and the universe steps in and says... We're going to cause this to fall, and you can see what's wrong with it, and rebuild it or close that door. Seven of Cups says somebody has a lot of choices. They could be overwhelmed with the choices they have to make, the decisions somebody has to make. Prince of Pentacles, somebody wants to come in and offer... Um, possibly an apology, or somebody wants to come back and fix things, is what I feel. Three of Pentacles, this is co-workers, something to do with co-workers. The Sun, the Sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. So I feel like there's happiness, it could have to do with a child is what I'm picking up. The Alchemist, so the Alchemist could either be trickery, somebody tricking somebody like a magician, or it could be somebody manifesting their happiness. So either somebody's tricking somebody at work on their happiness, or somebody is manifesting their happiness. So justice. Either way, justice is going to prevail. This is, this is, wow, is all I can say. This is reminding me of the news almost. So justice is going to prevail. Things are going to balance out. The high priestess. Somebody has a lot of intuition. A lot. Somebody 
listens to their intuition, intuition, and other people usually doubt people when they say they have intuition or they're psychic or they know things. People, especially at a workplace, will be like, ah, oh, she doesn't know anything. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Well, little be known to the other people, this person is practically, they got to be psychic. They, I'm pretty sure they are. So, Seven of Swords. Somebody's trying to be sneaky, and this person is on to it. They are on to it. And justice, justice is going to prevail. So Ace of Cups is either love being offered or somebody crying a lot over love. Some love situation that somebody wasn't honest that's going to bring peace. So, wow. So the Emperor again. So the Emperor is somebody who will dictate to other people what to do. And he'll give 10% and let everyone else do the work. 80%. He was not going to give too much of his energy. And the Empress. So we had the marriage card. Wow. So he is looking at the Empress. This could be a power couple or married couple. And she has a lot of intuition too. And she's very honest. She is very successful in new beginnings and communicating honest and worth. This Emperor is not. To me in this deck, he the way he has his leg up, uh, I feel like he just plots. And he doesn't put any effort into it. So, he's facing her. So, I feel like an Emperor has caused some issues for an Empress. He, I almost feel like he threw her under the bus some, some way. So, King of Pentacles is stepping in. King of Pentacles is seeing what's going on to the Empress. And he's like, oh, hold up, hold up. So I feel like the, he has a lot of love and money to support this empress for whatever this emperor is doing. So I don't know if he's going to pay for a lawyer for the empress is what I'm picking up. Um, we had the balance card, Justice, and Four of Wands. We have the marriage card twice. So I do feel like this is a lawyer for the empress. The emperor... Um, they were married, and this is her lawyer. I feel like there's something with a power couple. Wow. Death. So I do feel like there's going to be an ending of this marriage because of what the emperor did. So there's a hangman. It's going to be a delay. The universe will not move things forward until it's in sync with what, how it wants things, the justice to prevail and come out. So there's going to be a delay. And this person is probably, the emperor is probably like getting a little worried. So two of pentacles, somebody was juggling somebody. He was playing both sides. Nine of swords, and now he is really, really worried. Wow, this is just amazing, seriously. So somebody was playing both sides. I feel like there was money involved. I don't know if he was playing two companies. I don't know if he spent the Empress's money and didn't tell her. But, wow. So, he's stressed out. He is stressed out. So, now I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey Lesson cards. This is, like, really heavy. Okay, so the first one for you is loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So... You have angels and ancestors around you. I know it's hard to deal with loneliness. A lot of people are dealing with that. And we did see the depression card, but this is going to pass. You see the, the people like can turn in a wheel. So I feel like it's going to dissipate fast. It's going to go away and things are going to look up. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So I do feel like somebody is lonely because I feel like they lost the Empress. Somebody did something harsh to an Empress and they're realizing it too late. Death. I am learning that endings are nearly be merely beginnings. So I usually get a three card trio when it's uh, actual death in the physical realm here and I didn't get that. But these cards could tell me otherwise. This could be that this totally could be a death. Somebody could have moved on to um, heaven. And somebody could be really struggling with that. 
So leave me a comment if that's what it replies to because then I have a new set of trio cards and the Soul's Journey cards that relates to death because I usually have a trio in the Mystical Cats deck that relates to death for me. So the Whispers of the Ocean is a drift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. So this is somebody just going around and around and not dealing with emotions. They're just kind of being shallow, basically. Because they don't want to deal with the emotions. They don't want to come up out of the water, so to speak. The next one is Gliding Through Currents 13. So with a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease, going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, or behavior into the flow will help you dream. your dreams take flight. This is the manta ray. They swim with their mouth open and, and get plankton in there, but basically gliding through the currents, they go with the flow. And so being shallow, not going deep in the emotions and going with the flow is going to help somebody heal God and Owie, I feel. So now I'm going to pull the Angels and Ancestor cards. So wow, 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 wow. I feel like this is different than what I was seeing over here. So that's where I'm kind of like, I'll have to rewatch this and see what I come up with because it just seems like two different readings almost. So the Angels and Ancestors is Spirit Box. Trust your talents in changing times. So the Spirit Fox is saying the Spirit Fox can adapt to any situation. So for those of you who may have lost a loved one and do feel alone, this says that you can adapt. You may not feel like it, but a Spirit Fox can live in the city, they can live in the country, they can live um, many places. They can adapt to any environment. And this says basically you have the ability to adapt to environment. I also see the third eye chakra in there and religion. Whatever that could mean to somebody. And then I do see an ending that leads to the sun. Wow. So I do see time in there, definitely. It's going to take a while, but somebody is getting um, downloaded intuition. And the next one is winter. Take care of your needs. So this is, look at how similar these are. One's a spirit fox that's adaptable, and one's a alpha wolf. The alpha wolf can take care of himself. Both of these can. He can make it through the hard, cold winter. He can make sure he has enough energy, enough food, and enough shelter to make it through the winter and adapt and go towards the sunshine. So you have incredible power and strength. I mean, we have the emotions here, and then we have the strength here. That is really good. So my condolences to any of you readers or viewers who feel that the there was a death in your life and you are trying to deal with that right now my condolences so thank you so much for coming to echo catcher tarot libra i hope this connects with you thank you so much bless you libra